So hello, hello, hello. So um, I'm going to be doing astrology readings uh, for the week of the 27th of December 2021 up until the 3rd of January 2022. Okay, so um, I'm going to be doing those. Um, so I'm going to be doing them at, um, you know, we can start with the, uh, the air signs, then I'm going to go fire signs, and then we're going to go water signs, and then earth signs. So we're going to do it in that order today. Um, I try and change it around a bit, um, so because I do this every week. If anybody would like a one-to-one -one reading with myself, um, you can go to psychicalley.net, and there you can have um, one-to-one tarot tuition, one-to-one psychic development. Um, I do readings, do um, cord cuttings. So if anybody's got any kind of, um, it's like reoccurring uh, tensions, reoccurring, um, it could be love life issues, you know, picking the same kind of archetype. Um, sometimes there's something to do with the past life um, and you're attracting that too. Sometimes we need to cut that off. Um, it doesn't take long. Um, and, um, you know, it depends on what you want as well. I mean, if you wanted kind of um, to see the reading progress after that, um, after the cord cutting, then, you know, but there's several op um, options on the website. Um, if you're trying to make a decision whether to stay in a relationship or go, whether to stay in a job or whether you should go. Um, I can do a double timeline um, effect. So really it's like, okay, so this is if you, decided to stay in your job or stay in your relationship and we can do a timeline on that and then if you decide to leave then this is how your life will be and you can see kind of the happiness energy you can see how it's going to pan out okay um so they're very popular at the moment okay um also past life recall um there's lots of different things so um have a look on the website and see what, uh, what you found. So there's also free readings on there. Um, there's a button there, you can press and get a free reading. Okay, um, as with all weeks, I'm asking you to um, watch out for your sun, moon and rising signs, okay? Um, so if you don't know what your sun, moon and rising is, then go to um, your search engine and just type in, what is my sun, moon and rising? And it will give you um, a little graph that you put in uh, the location, the time and the date of your birth. Um, and then it will give you your three signs. So you're looking at three signs rather than just one. OK. Also want to tell you about our 10 week course. It's brand new and um, that's starting up um, on Monday, the 3rd of January 2022. So it's 10 weeks. Um, you can pay as you go, um, and it's only five pounds a class, which works out for, uh, seven dollars if anybody's in the US. Um, but obviously, anybody can come; um, doesn't matter what country you're in. Um, obviously, we speak English, but apart from that, you you can be anywhere. Okay, um, it is from seven thirty p.m. until ten thirty p.m. UK time which works out at 2.30 p.m. Eastern, 11.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 uh, p.m. Mountain Time, 1.30 p.m. Central Time. Okay, so that's the US. I can't go through every time zone, I'm afraid. <laughs> but you could always look in and see how many hours behind UK, um, UK your country is. OK, so um, once you decide to register, I will then send over the Zoom code and then you can just pop in every week and join us, really. Now, this can be beginners um, or it can be advanced people who maybe have been out of the loop for a little while. They just need a bit of confidence boost in. Um, they need to get some practice in and maybe go back to some basics um, and then, you know, redo um, some of the things that might, they might have already done, um, but each time you can um, you can learn all sorts of new things, and there's always new techniques. Even if you've done 
uh, my classes before, um, I will always use new techniques, um, something a little bit different for you to try. If you're already coming to the Monday classes, um, then I will push you a little bit further. Okay, so what's the point of coming to a class and you learn nothing, you go away every week and you think, I haven't learned a single thing. That's no good. What, what on earth are you paying for? Um, so for me, I believe that you um, should be just pushed just a little bit outside of your safety zone, just a little bit in a playful way, unless you are adamantly, no, it's, it's too much for me. And then of course, you know, no one's going to push you to do that. But if you want to be pushed, I, I will push you. Um, a lot of the um, people who have been coming to class are now um, professional readers. Um, and I can, I can honestly hand on heart say that anybody who has wanted to be professional has actually um, become professional um, in their readings. So, so yeah, that's kind of um, where I'm coming from with that. Um, just to quickly go into um, some of the classes. Let me just put that down there. Okay, so week one, as with all, all things, just in case there are any new people who are coming, we go into protection, okay? So protection is the most important thing and how to put up your protection, how to clear your energy and how to come in um, and um, make sure that there's nobody in the group who's gonna become an energy vampire. So it's, if you learn exactly what an energy vampire is um, and then it will make the group run very smoothly. Um, so it's spirit guides as well, meeting your spirit guides, contacting your spirit guides. How do you uh, communicate with them? Um, what is their purpose? Where have they come from? All that. So we're going to be doing that. And power animals, that's the first week. Um, week two, we're going to be doing clairvoyance, everything to do with clairvoyance. Um, so developing new skills and using new techniques, okay? Um, some of the techniques people would have, would have tried um, and some of them, there will be new techniques, okay? Um, and tips on how to create a better connection, how to keep that connection. It's a bit like anchoring that person beside you who's giving you the information, okay? How to do that. Um, and the messages that they're trying to give um, to fine tune them and, and to give them with confidence, okay? So it's confidence building. It's week two. Week three. Um, is chakras or chakras, some people say chakras, pendulums, using pendulums to see if your chakras are out of balance, um, and colours and crystals. Okay, so um, if you can understand your chakras, your colours, then you can do crystal readings, you can do colour readings, um, you can do chakra balancing. There's so much, okay, that you can do. Week four is auras, seeing, feeling, sensing, drawing, repairing, and giving auric readings, okay? So that's gonna be week four, okay? Um, week five is tarot, okay? So week five, I'll be going through the major arcana cards um, and what their meanings are, um, and maybe a layout or two. Week six is going to be um, the tarot again, but it's going to be the minor arcana. Obviously, I'm only going to be giving a little bit of information per card, um, but it's enough to get you going. Um, so, and then I will do connectives. What connectives are what? Okay. Um, so it's like, well, one card means one thing and you put it with another card. And does it change meanings? Does it give any extra insight? Week seven is mediumship, connecting with past loved ones. Um, photo reading, so um, each person will send in a photograph of their past loved one, and then we will tune into that person and see um, what we pick up for them. Um, it's kind of called psychometry. Um, so we'll be doing psychometry readings with photos. Um, week eight is healing, healing meditation, angels and cord cutting okay so the cord cutting i'll teach you how to do cord cutting or maybe someone else um or yourself so okay so week nine psychic detective work 
uh, remote viewing. So it's going into cold cases and having a look and see if we can find out new information uh, maybe about them, okay? About what, what happened to them. Maybe find missing persons, um, looking into things that haven't been resolved, okay? And week 10 is trance, okay? Channeling and premonitions, okay? So um, if that sounds like something that you fancy doing, then please contact me on psychicalley121 at gmail.com, okay? Or through the website, psychicalley.net. And just let me know that you're interested and then I will send you the Zoom code. And, and that's it, it's five pound per class. You can pay via PayPal um, or you can pay via the website. Website is, as I've said, psychicalley.net and there's a, there's a make a payment button on there, okay? Um, or you guiding out the PayPal is guiding angels at btinternet.com. So that's guiding G U I D I N G angels at btinternet.com. Okay, so um, I'm going to get on with the readings now and um, hope you enjoy them. Okay, so we're going to start off with, we're going to start off with. Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius. All right. So let's have a look and see what's going on this week. Okay. So this week, okay, so this week I'm seeing um, a lot of spiritual, um, it's like openings and um, finding out that, you know, if you already know that you're spiritual, then they're gonna, it's going to be more so. Um, if you thought you weren't spiritual, it's going to grow um, because I've got the Hierophant, okay, the Hierophant is about spiritual teaching, it's about openness to do with what else is out there right next to the Sun card. And the sun card, it's always a boost. Do you see what I mean? It's, it's like a boost of confidence. Um, that right next to the spiritual card, that's what I mean about connectives. Okay. Um, and it's coming up with a person who is trying to be the best that they can be, trying to, to grow, trying to um, climb. Um, it's like, um, so this might be how you feel. You might be really determined to get further on in a career or in an opportunity, okay? It's like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push myself forward. So that energy around you is gonna be very, very strong, okay, to do, okay? It's like, you know, sheer determination, okay? Um, it could be somebody else around you who's affecting you, okay? But usually I would say it's you, okay? So coming up around that middle of the week, um, by the middle of the week, I'm seeing contracts or paperwork around uh, around you. Now, for some of you, it will just mean paperwork. It might mean form filling, um, applications. It might mean that. Um, for other people, this may mean something else. It may mean um, as serious as court documents, letters um, of an official kind, okay? Getting something done officially. Um, it can be, there's a little bit of shush energy around don't tell anybody keep this to yourself we will defend ourselves if we have to but i'd rather not so there's a little bit of hush hush energy around okay or keeping things quiet okay so i don't know what that means but you'll know then okay so by the end of the week for aquarius um so there is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a shock Okay, a bit of a clear out, a bit of a shock where certain things are kind of um, being shaken up a little bit, but it does indicate that it's in a good way because sometimes it's like there has been secrets, there has been things that have been hidden. Um, these things are now coming to the surface or you've realized, if it's you keeping the secret, you've realized that you need to unburden yourself from that secret. That could be telling a close friend. Um, it could be you've decided to 
come out and tell um, the world what you've been feeling or what's been going on. Now it is indicating a good thing. So it's indicating the world, which does mean you started off with the sun and you've ended up with the world, two of the best cards in the deck, okay, Aquarius. So it's gonna be a difficult week because it's gonna, emotions are gonna be very high, very powerful. You do have the tower card, which does indicate eruptions or things coming to the surface, um, you know, having that shake up, okay? But you can't keep secrets for that long um, without having to maybe deal with them in some way. It could mean that you've decided that you might need counselling or you might need healing or you might just need to talk it out with somebody. Okay, so there you go, Aquarius. That is for you. Okay, okay so um, if anybody um, knows Greg Prescott, um, he had open heart surgery just over a week ago. Um, he is home. He's done really well. And um, everybody's so gobsmacked by his um, ability to heal and being really, really poorly, really poorly. And then um, he's um, able to, to get through it. And I honestly believe it's to do with the, um, um, it's to do with his, his healing. And that's from everybody. So thank you so much. And please keep that healing coming in um, because it's working. It really is working. So, okay, so we're going to do Gemini's now. Okay, so let's have a look. Do that. Yeah. Gemini's, okay. Greg calls them Gemininians. Okay, so the Gemininians. Right. Okay, so the start of the week, a little bit hanging around, a bit of waiting. You know, things aren't finished yet, things aren't, aren't done. You know, you might be getting on your nerves a little bit. Um, it could mean that you've got to kind of um, look after yourself a little bit more. You know, if there is a delay, are you rushing about and not looking after yourself? Is there some way of you kind of coming into alliance, you know, and into balance with, with your health? You know, maybe, you know, you in order to kind of, um, go forward you need to repair you and you need to make sure that you're okay before you enter into anything else okay so it could be that you know you um, you've been given this delay for a reason okay sometimes we're throwing our toys at our pram because things aren't happening and I want them to happen now and I've been waiting far too long and you know and we're go going really off on one um, when actually the universe is trying to do you a favor the universe is trying to say, are you sure? Are you sure that this is what you want? Are you sure that this is the best way forward for you? Okay, so um, that could be something that is going on, okay, around you the beginning of the week. Not all the time. Um, sometimes it just means that things are annoyingly waiting, you know, there's, there's an await or waiting for it. Um, for some of you, I feel that there is going to be some, uh, something to do with results coming back from um, something that you have had to um, go through. Okay, so that could be um, had a test, that could be, you know, you've been awaiting some news on a job um, and that job is gonna make you feel very much secure. Okay, so it's something to do with well-being and a delay. Okay, so by the middle of the week, middle of the week, it's like, I'm not hearing what I wanna hear. I'm having battles with it, you know, things are making me feel fed up here, okay? But the cards are ending on a really positive card, okay? You've got the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups comes along and says that I'm happy with me. I know what I want and I know what I deserve. And if you don't like it, that's tough, okay? So um, it's like that feeling of, of being um, in centre with you, okay? But for some reason, there is something that you don't like. Okay, someone's told you something, it's got you annoyed. Um, it could mean that, you know, you are feeling as if 
you know, I've got too much information coming at me. Everyone wants something from me. Oh my God, it's all coming at. So it could be that you're getting agitated by having too much responsibility or people trying so hard to get your attention. Okay, it's like they want that, but you, they want this. And it's like, it's all getting, all getting to you. Okay, but by the end of the week, everything is smoother. Everything is much easier. I feel as if there's a celebration. In fact, there's two celebrations. There's one, a personal celebration um, and linked with emotions. Could be linked with love life, okay? Um, it can be a celebration of love. It can be a feeling of being, um, you know, supported by family or friends or a partner. Um, it could be something that you want to, um, you know, do on a romantic level together, um, something good. If you are single, then it could mean the start of something you know to do with your love life because it's kind of like that sparky kind of passionate energy okay um and sometimes you know it's, it's hard to say that you know you, you're going to receive this in a friendship but sometimes you're excited to be together and doing things together so it can still have that kind of that um fire energy okay determination especially if you're planning um to do something um together like a quest okay and then we've got a um, a public acclaim one where everybody around you is noticing how well you've done and is ready to say congratulations that's amazing news okay so good news coming at the end of the week um, a celebration personally and a celebration um, clinking glasses and respect from others okay spirit guides all around you saying I told you so I told you so so there you go. That is for Gemini's. Okay. So let's do Libra. Um, so my wonderful husband is Libra. Okay. He is a triple Libra, actually. Um, so I've also got Libra rising in my chart. Um, I'm Pisces, Libra rising, and I've got Sagittarius as well. And uh, he's a triple Libra. Okay, so let's have a look and see what's going on um, with Librans for next week. So let's just go through the date again. The 27th of December, 2021, through to the 3rd of January, 2022. Okay. Right. So the start of the week. Oh my goodness. Very good news coming at the beginning of the week. It does feel as if there is some abundance around you, some real opportunity of either money. Um, it can be that money is just flowing into your life. Okay, money is going from strength to strength. Um, it does indicate that you're going to be doing a lot of research, a lot of looking into. Um, I feel that you're going to be starting something new, starting a new project, um, but finding out where things lie with it and what could happen okay so it's like you know when you're kind of doing a business plan and you would have to take it to say a bank if you wanted to get a loan um that that bank would expect you to know what are your positives what are your um things that you have to worry about okay what do you need to improve on um what is your competition what is your pricing and what is other people's pricing um, yeah, and what is your marketing skill? So, um, but if you do that, even if you're not taking it to the bank, but you're just doing yourself that, it means that you are saying, I understand my competition and I understand what I need to do in order to go places and to get what it is I need and want from my project, from my situation. Don't be surprised if there's not some learning or studying around you as well, because I see a lot of people doing that. Um, sometimes I'm picking up on people around you, um, but if it is around you, it would mean that other people, that that person's um, life is overlapping into yours, so it's affecting yours, otherwise it wouldn't come up, okay, in your reading. Okay, there's a lot of wishes that you've got going on as well, um, Librans, okay, so you're putting all those positive vibes out um, for the future, okay. So by the middle of the week, middle of the week, there's a complicated love life situation, um, either a love life or it could be family or it could be friendships, but it's complicated 
in that relationship, there is a need to kind of say, come on, this is a challenge. We can get through this challenge. This won't affect us. We're fine. And it is all about new beginnings, sometimes cutting away the old, going into the, 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 the good, going into where you're going in the future. OK, it's like going forward, feeling good about, um, you know, what it is that you're now going to do. OK, so it could have been that they started off a little bit of a chink. OK, in that energy um, by but by, um, you know, within that few days, things do turn around and you treat it like a challenge. I accept that there might be something that needs to be sorted, um, but I'm going to do it. OK, I'm going to make this right. OK. Um, sometimes I will say that sometimes there is nothing that you can do to make it right. And sometimes um, you have to admit that it's out of your hands, that maybe that person is going to do what they want to do or or go their own way or not. Does that make sense? And, and what can you do about it? OK, so sometimes to do nothing. Um, is still a choice, okay, and it's still a challenge actually to do nothing too. Um, so by the end of the week, you're going to take a leap of faith. You're going to say, I'm doing it. I don't know why, but we urge, I'm going to do it. Okay, so you've got that kind of bubbly energy around you where you're putting a front on and saying, I'm good. Um, there's also, it's going to be sudden, so you're going to do something that might shock people because out of the blue, you're saying, I know this is a bit like reinventing yourself in a business or, you know, starting a new project that everyone thinks, what, you're going from that to that? What's going on? Um, but you're going to be excited about it as well. Um, you've got that perfection energy as well, Librans, which means that you aren't going to take it lightly, that you're going to do everything you can to make it as professional as you can possibly make it or as good as you can make it. So, this could be a personal project, it could be decorating the living room, it could be whatever it is, you've got that perfection energy and it's like, sod it, I'm going to get going with it. I hope that's not you, Mr. Westcott, please, um, because you're still repairing and I know what he's like. If he gets a new project, he'll overdo it. So, yes, yeah, so it's just an open heart surgery, just so you know. Yeah. So, um, anyway, that's for all the birds out there, not just naughty Mr. Westcott. <laughs> okay, so um, we've done the air signs. So we're now going to do the fire signs. Okay. So, oh, okay. So starting off with Leo. Okay. So, Leo, Leo, Leo. So around yes, the 27th through to the 3rd of January 2022. Right. Okay, so we're starting off of feeling very chuffed with yourself, Leos. You have done a lot. You have managed to pull something off you've managed to complete a task you've managed to where you didn't think it was going to go um, very far with a project or you felt that you might give up and not continue um, and then all of a sudden you had that surge of energy or that sheer determination and it's like it paid off so um, well done you guys okay well done Leo's um, I do feel as if there has been, you know, where you've had to stand up and be and announce something or you've had to kind of stand out in a crowd. Now, usually Leo's, um, a typical Leo, they don't mind standing out in a crowd because they're quite, um, they can be quite theatrical um, and they kind of like, um, they like attention. Think of a lion, okay, a majestic energy, okay, so lots of pride. I mean, some people might not be a typical Leo though. I do know some Leos and I can clearly see that they're not a typical Leo. That's why we have to look at the sun, moon and rising signs um, so that you can blend the three together and understand um, what it means. OK, 
there's a flirtatious person around you who's going to be having a banter with you. Um, I feel that this person is just, just what you need. So you're going to be able to kind of, you know, laugh back and forth and get on really, really well. Okay. By the middle of the week, the middle of the week, um, you've got a person around you who is a little bit irritating because they want everything perfect. They want everything to be um, sorted, organized and done. Okay, their own way. Okay, now you like to do it your own way. You've got a certain way that you do things, but it may not be as organized as they. Okay, but um, sometimes you may feel as if, well, get on with it then and I'll, I'll leave you to it. So sometimes it means that they might feel as if you are letting them down in some way. But it is because you are being bossed around and you don't get on very well with being bossed around. Okay, either way, it could be that, well, I know it will probably um, calm down, I would say. It's going to calm down for most of you. Okay, um, but you're going to have to juggle about your energies. You're going to have to kind of compromise. And if there's, for some of you, it, there won't be any compromise, that's what I'm saying. Um, but the majority of you, there will be and everything will be sorted. Okay, so by the end of the week. End of the week, there may be some conversations about self-employment, maybe starting a little business yourself, um, taking on an opportunity. Um, I feel that everything is starting to change. Everything is starting to move forward. And you're seeing that with, with everything moving forward in that direction, then this starts to move forward in this direction, which leads to this direction and that and that and that. So everything then starts to with the cogs and the wheels, you know, it, one cog moves, twist another one. So there's a lot of that going on. And um, you've been patient enough. So you've been waiting for this for a long time, Leos. And um, now everything starts to move forward. Okay. So, so yeah, um, good week for you. Okay. So um, there you go. That's for Leos. Okay. So we're going to do Sagittarius now. These are just little ones, guys. I am going to be doing some um, yearly readings. OK, so I'm doing a few, actually. So I'm going to do some free ones. OK, um, these are just a little over overview. OK, about your your life, what you're doing. OK, what your what is going to be happening for that year. OK. Um, and I'm going to be doing those, fingers crossed, I don't want to promise, but I'm 90, 95% sure I'll be doing it this Sunday, okay? What day is this Sunday? Let me just get my diary and I will tell you. Okay. This Sunday. Yeah, so this Sunday. OK, it will be the 2nd of January. So I'm doing mini. These are mini ones, but they're longer than my normal ones. So these are mini ones. Um, so the price for these is going to be £15. OK, so I'm only going to fit in a few of them. So if you do want one of these, then please book early. OK, because I'm going to do probably. I'd say at the most. At the most eight. I would say probably, okay? So um, if you do want one of these eight readings available, they are 15 pounds each, which works out, let me tell you in American dollars, because I, the reason why I've worked with, because I've got a website that um, links to American um, clientele and because of my lovely hubby making it for me. So it's $20, okay? So it works out $20. You write that in there, so yeah, so around $20. Um, if you wanted one of those, okay, so these are mini ones, okay, they just give you a quick overview um, of your year. I'm also doing a two hour one, okay, now these, these are the bigger ones, okay, and this is a special one at the moment, okay, it ends at the um on the 7th of january okay it ends on the 7th of january because so i like to give three uh predictions for each month and obviously 
the 7th, we've then got the three weeks left of January. And then after that, I can't do any um, of the yearly predictions. So you have to kind of get in there early with that. It's $100, okay, which works out. <laughs> Sorry about this. $100, which works out. Let's go the other way around. Which works out around 70 75 pounds okay um, and with that that's a two hour reading okay it's two hours and I go into an in-depth yearly reading okay with that I cover um, love life finances home um, security um, any obstacles that are around you okay um, there's lots of different factors that I cover with that okay so um, if you wanted to book that, you can go to um, my website, psychicalley.net, and it's on there. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, so that's Sunday, the 2nd of January. Okay, I'll be doing that, 2022. So, um, yeah, Sunday, the, yeah, Sunday the 2nd. Okay, so let's have a little look. And we're going to do Sagittarius. Okay. So what's happening with Sagittarius? This is one of my, um, it's my, not my rising, my moon. This, I've got Sagittarius moon, okay? So let's have a look. Concentrating on this next week for you, Sagittarians. Oh, lovely. <clears throat> okay, little bit of a feeling of being a bit trapped to start with, maybe a few words exchanged, I feel that there will be a little bit of kind of, you know, when one person is being spiteful and the other person is being annoyed and, and it gets back and forth and back and forth. Now, it doesn't have to be you direct, but you will be around it, okay? If you are around it, it's like you want to bang people's heads together. If you're doing it, you want to kind of say, do you know what? I don't want this anymore. Um, I don't need this energy. OK, so it's bad energy um, and you want to get away from this as soon as possible because it's going to drag you down, especially if you're very spiritual. Um, we can't deal with with falling out the same way as other people do. It's water for ducks back, so to speak, um, for some people, because they might be argumentative types, but mainly spiritual people. They've got to a balance um, that they don't have this. This is going to affect um, people, okay? It's going to affect you, okay? There is a feeling of which way do I go now? How do I get out of this situation? And just when you start to lose that kind of feeling of, you know, is this ever going to get better? It then does, okay? Because then I see a plan, okay? Now, it could mean that, you know, as one door closes, another door swings open or you open the next door, okay, because of, maybe this fallout or maybe this um, this problem, this situation. So um, it is a shift forward, um, but I am seeing application forms. I'm seeing opportunities. Um, I'm seeing everything coming to you that you thought wasn't going to be possible. OK, so it's going to there's a lot of hope there as well, um, just after the outspoken words. So, yeah, your world has been shaken up, okay? So, yes, it's been shaken up, but um, you're able to see past that. You're able to focus now on maybe a better pathway that you wouldn't have even looked at, okay, if it wasn't for this situation. So, that new pathway opens up. You're focused on it. You've also got this feisty energy, this fired up energy where you are not going to take no for an answer, and you're going to get what you want and you know what you deserve and, and this is it. So it's like the warrior in you is coming out, okay? And uh, you're going to be quite an excitable kind of character, okay, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, there seems to be another person around you who is also very kind of fired up and they're also giving you a lot of support and help. Does that make sense? You're able to lean on each other, okay? And get to know each other and understand where they're coming from, what's going on, that type of thing, okay? And towards the end of um, this next week, end of next week, you're going to end up with then two options, okay? 
in front of you. Now, do you go in this direction? Or do you go in this direction? This direction, is it still open? Or is there a block coming up um, that opens up for this direction? And this direction looks very, very good. Um, we do have the 10 of pentacles, which means money, money at the end of that pathway. Okay, um, we have the seven of pentacles, which means sometimes it's time to take a chance to go for a gamble. Okay, it's like it's a good gamble. This looks like a good opportunity. Okay, but you might need to train or learn. Okay, you might need to do that. It might make you feel a bit nervous and outside of your comfort zone. But sometimes life gives you these little twists and turns so that you can find that true you. Maybe it's time to find that life path um, that you've always needed to be on and you've been dancing around it for years, okay? Have, having maybe this main interest, knowing that you're good at it, but you're not quite ready to kind of trust in yourself enough to take that leap. Um, I'm hearing self-employment, I'm seeing opportunities. Um, you know, sometimes they can have multiple meanings. Sometimes it could be talking about finances but it could be that there is other things going on emotionally at the same time okay so there you go Sagittarius okay so we're now going to do Aries <laughs> okay so Aries So just trying to. <laughs> OK, so here we go for Aries. OK, so all those Aries people out there or um, you've got this in your chart. Okay. I have no idea why I'm picking up on a poodle. <laughs> um, would anybody have had a poodle dog um, in the spirit world? Or is there any, anything coming up about um, a, a poodle in the future for, for some of you? Okay, so if, if, this does, um, if this does relate to you, please let me know. No, I'm not going mad. Um, but I definitely saw this kind of like, um, it's like, you know those poodles, they, they're shaved in some areas and poofed up in others poor little loves but <laughs> I've seen that okay so let's have a look I actually saw them you know when they're kind of walking around like crafts or walking around and, and it's a dog um, exhibition and competition yeah anyway um so Aries okay um I'm seeing a little bit of juggling of money um juggling of the energy juggling of your time okay um tippy-toeing maybe around this juggle as well doing it very carefully keeping an eye on what you're doing because it feels as if you're taking a bit of a chance okay but with that chance there's a good possibility of it coming out absolutely fantastically okay now sometimes we feel as if you know we're stuck in a situation and we haven't got choices okay a lot of people have got this so far this um, this time around so you can see it's like well how do I get out of this mess um, you know with the ten of wands how do I get out of this perhaps I've taken on too much perhaps it's going to affect me here um, but we do have the hanged man which means everything's upside down everything's on hold okay so if you can just wait a little bit longer okay the energy is changing and clearing okay now I know that's hard to do sometimes when you feel as if you're up against a deadline. Um, but sometimes that deadline gives you enough time to get what spirit have planned. And if you jump the gun, if you decided to, you know, say, no, I've got to get it sorted out now. I'm not prepared to wait. Um, I don't want this hanging over me. Um, and then go and do something. You, there's going to be regret there, I'm afraid. Um, you are going to regret what it is that you're doing. Okay, so there's just saying, if you can just hang in there, okay, you have the hanged man, okay, the hanged man is hang loose, okay, look at things from a different perspective, 
maybe find out information that you haven't yet found out or maybe research in a different area, okay? Um, maybe listen, okay, to people who may have a different opinion about things than you do, okay? So let's have a little look um, around the middle of the week. So the middle of the week, um, you are gonna be getting something off your chest. I feel that this is something very important to you. Um, I have got this um, Seven of Pentacles, which indicates it's a financial gamble. It's like, what should I do? And I see these two coins here. And it's like, that, that to me is kind of, you know, a job or an existing job or a new job um, or existing job and self-employment. I'm not sure what to do. Is it gonna help me if I keep putting my energy into an old system or into something that I've always done? Or is it time to maybe make a change and do something completely different? Okay, you don't know. So you're in a quandary. And this is my challenges card. Um, with the temperance, it's indicating that everything is weighed up. Does that make sense? They're saying weigh things up. You can see what these cards are trying to tell you. Does that make sense? Hang loose, weight. You might feel trapped. It might feel bad. Does that make sense that this is situation? But there is going to be somebody who's going to be giving you information. Okay. It might be it comes at you in kind of um, it's like a, a sledgehammer moment, you know, when it's like information comes at you like thud. Wow, okay, um, that's woke me up. Um, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? Okay, so um, you can clearly see what they're trying to tell you. Yeah, okay. Um, so by the end of the week, end of the week, you have the world. So whatever you have decided, the world comes up. And this is linked with um, a good outcome, a good choice, good decisions that you've made. And this is to do with somebody who's being oppressive. Um, you know, the emperor um, has many meanings. Sometimes it can mean father figure. Sometimes it can mean somebody of a dominant nature or an oppression, okay? Because I'm seeing oppression, I'm also seeing kind of this card, which does indicate a very um, sure of themselves, overly confident, sometimes a little bit kind of corporate um, energy and a bit overpowering, um, but this is a win. Does that make sense? This is a win linked to these character, this character. It's a win, okay? You've got the world card. Okay, so if you could just hang in there a little bit longer, um, uh, Aries people. Okay, so we've done the air signs. So we've done Aquarius, we've done Gemini, and we've done Libra. And now we've done Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Um, so let's do Pisces now. Okay, Pisces, Pisces. Well, we're going to start with actually Scorpio, and then we're going to go uh, Pisces and then Cancerians. Okay. Scorpios. There. Right. Let's have a look and see what's happening with our lovely Scorpios. This is my daughter, uh, Rhiannon, my youngest daughter. Um, so this is her. Um, um, Scorpios for the 27th through to the 3rd of January 2022. Right, beginning of the week. The beginning of the week is all about your dreams. It's about your wishes. Now, sometimes it can mean literally about your dreams. Um, so have you been keeping a dream journal? Has there been some interesting um, images coming up while you're sleeping? Okay, and what do you make of them? What do you think they're trying to tell you? Now, sometimes if I, a dream state reminds me of a washing machine, it's gonna sound funny, but if you imagine, or a cauldron, if you like. Um, so it's like every emotion from that day and maybe some other worries and kind of deep set emotions, they're all put inside this cauldron. They're then mixed up, or what should we say, mixed up, 
and they all come about gobbledygook. Everything's a bit kind of all upside down, and but all these emotions are still there, and all these kind of like lessons and things, and and then it all comes out, okay? Um, and it's like a regurgitation of worry and of stress, and maybe some happiness in there as well. Okay, and so dreams are there to tell you um, sometimes that that your agitation and your uh, your stress is actually leaving you and going and all you've got to do is to analyze it really if you can't analyze it then say it's been cleared okay so all of that anxiety and stress has been cleared so believe it or not you guys have got the seven of pentacles as well okay so once again I'm saying Scorpios you've got decisions to make self-employed stay with the job I'm doing or stay at home and be a mum, or go out to work, or whatever your choices are. There's two choices here. He's really contemplating it. Now, whatever he's doing, perhaps hasn't earned enough money in the past. Maybe he realises, or she realises, that there is better opportunities out there, and that maybe he's got to put his energy into something else in order for bigger and better things. Now you have the temperance card, okay, which is all to do with getting the right balance, okay, understanding the pros and cons, weighing things up, um, and finding everybody, it's being fair to everybody, but also to yourself with the temperance, and like I said, the star is about your dreams, but it's also about kind of dreams in reality, okay, so as we go on to the middle, um, so the middle, so there is somebody who is being a little bit bossy around you and I feel that this person has a sharp tongue and they can be very opinionated um, in a way where they can be cutting. Um, for some of you this person may be cruel even, they may actually make you feel as if you know this person has no right in talking to me like that and I'm not impressed with it so um, there's somebody, this person could be a boss or they might feel as if they're a boss they might feel as if they can lord over you or tell you what to do, okay? It could be that you're saying, no, um, you don't have any right over me to do that, to make that decision, I'm not having it. Okay, so there's lots of fired up energy, okay, around a fight back energy, okay, which I couldn't be more happy to see, okay, in people's cards. But the hanged man likes to see things from different sides. This can be analysing, it can be looking into, you know, the pros and the cons, looking into um, facts and figures from either side of the conversation. As we move on, lovely cards coming out here. Um, you've got towards the end of the week, you've then got the sun card. OK, now the sun, happiness, brightness, everything is much better. I can see where I'm going now. It's illuminated, it's lit. So I'm on a quest, okay, I'm fired up, I know what I've got to do, okay, so it's like you will have made a decision, you will know what you need to do, now it might mean that you might lose a bit of money, or it might mean that you're going to, your time is going to be taken up, that might mean study, learning, development, it could mean that you've got to pay for a workshop or pay for a course, um, but that course, that workshop is exactly what you need. OK, so um, it could mean sometimes that what they say, speculate to accumulate. OK, so there you go. That's for Scorpios. So we're now going to do Pisces. And this is me and my mum. Uh, we're both Pisces. Okay, I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to pause it a minute so I can make a quick, quick drink. I've got a new mouse and it really doesn't do what I ask it to do. <laughs> it really doesn't. So I'm going to have to do it with the, with the pad. Okay. That's why I took a little break. Um, I should have a bit. Okay. So we're now going to do Pisces. Okay. So let's have a look and see what's going on with Pisces. Okay. So this is for myself and. Uh, for my mum. Hi, mum. Um, okay. 
Let's tune in. Lovely. Okay. So, right. So, it is going to feel to be a little bit of um, a standoffish energy, okay, around. Now, this could mean rejection in some way, someone around your family getting rejected, feeling rejected, feeling um, as if there is some, um, something that's not quite balanced or right. Now, I know it's to do with the home and to do with your personal life because um, we have the, the hermit with it, okay? Um, but we have a new idea, a new thought pattern, a new a change in the way that this is maybe going to be handled or maybe things are going to be um, different there. Okay, um, there's going to be a reminiscing about how things used to be, um, thinking about kind of, you know, um, it's like an alternative way of thinking, um, you know, could it be this that's best or this that's best? It's like, what, what do I do? Okay, we'll move on to the middle of the week. There seems to be a surprise in the way of money. Okay, it's money, opportunity. Um, it's to do with your security and it's to do with kind of feeling, um, it's like um, relaxed, if you like, relaxed about the future relaxed about what is going to happen, okay, in the future for you, financially wise, okay? There is a little bit of frustration. It's like knowing that there's money coming, but it's not here yet. It's like, but I want it to be here now, okay? So a little bit of kind of worry and confusion. It's like, oh, this is doing my head in, the weight is doing my head in. Um, you know, it's just around the corner. It's like knowing that there could be a breakthrough in your business, um, because you've done everything right, or knowing that there could be a, a promotion, or knowing knowing certain things and then waiting for the results to happen. Okay, but um, it's like a promise. Okay, for more money. Okay, let's have a little look. Okay, we're also feeling as as though there is. Um, let's have a look. You're telling me about rerouting and moving. So there may be some people around you who are talking about moving or rerouting. These people would have to be close family, close friends, um, or yourself. Okay, it's just an outspoken um, conversation. It's just something that needs to happen. There's also a feeling of being blocked. So it's like, well, that's what I need, or that's what I want, but I can't because. Okay, so. Um, this can be changes in the home. Um, the changes in the home are because there's a need to have um, something better happen. You know, it's like, well, if we can organise this, then that would be better for everybody. OK, so it's like some plans and details, um, you know, conversations about it. Um, there is somebody who's a little bit more frustrated than normal. OK, this person is holding back either anger, frustration is feeling a little bit kind of low, okay? But um, it's like, how are, we, how are we going to get through this? What can we do, okay? I'm seeing some legal documents, legal paperwork, official things, okay? That doesn't mean to say it's actually happening. I do see a bit of a surprise with it, um, a bit of a, that's good, you know? Um, a bit like, you know, big thumbs up, you know, um, in the way of, you know, you thought it was going to go one way and it's actually gone the other, okay, um, in a good way. I feel that you've had to kind of walk sideways around a legal or official matter, okay, or something that is to do with a bill, um, maybe that you are finding out is not really your bill, okay, or something that you need to um, be worried about. So it's like a, a weight is lifted from your shoulders in, in that regard. Okay, I'm seeing study around you towards the end of the week. Something that you're going to be wanting to do. Okay, it's like, I really want to research that. I really want to try this. Okay, it's like my, um, my life is going to be dividing into two sections. It's either going to be in this, it is, I've either got to go in this direction or this direction. This is all going to come up quite suddenly at the end of the week. 
okay, this decision, okay, it's like, it's, it's a decision to say, yes, I'm going to do it, you know, that is something that I'm going to, you know, try to do. It's, it's all very, um, it's a positive energy, and it is, it is linked with making decisions, okay, that's all, I'm trying to get more information for everybody, um, but they're being a bit candid about it, okay, but it is going to, yeah, it's going to come up quite suddenly. And sometimes when I get the full card and it says sudden, um, if I told you too much detail, then it wouldn't be sudden. Does that make sense? And sometimes it has to be that you only know a certain amount of information so that you can um, react in the way you're supposed to react. I know that sounds a bit of a cop out, but I'm sorry, that's the way spirit works. Okay, but I will say your perfection energy is that you want to perfect something that you're already good at, okay? Or perfect something that's like a hobby, that you think you can do better. You think, ah, oh, I wanna improve on it, you know? I wanna find out more, okay? It can be just research into the truth of energy. It could be that you are actually curious about what people are talking about. As far as you're concerned, you're watching the news, you're watching everything unfold and you feel that that is it. That is the only source of information. And everybody else is a conspiracy theorist and they don't know what they mean. But there might be a little bit of kind of questioning it. And it's like, well, that doesn't add up with that. And if that was the case, then why that? So it's like question mark, question mark, question mark. And when they become too many question marks, you then start to look into the bigger picture, look into what else is there, okay? So I do feel as if there is a bit of research in that way, you know, looking into bit shoot, um, looking into, and you will be inundated with information um, as well from the very top, okay? Very top whistleblowers um, are all speaking out. So um, I'm sorry to get a bit political, but I have to, you know, the, the cards are just saying this to me, um, that some of you are going to be doing that. Um, there is going to be a new job, new money, or new quest, okay, around you, and this is going to consume a lot of your energy, okay, so there you go, that's what I see around Pisces, okay, so um, we're going to do Cancerians, and then the last ones that we're going to do is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay. Let's see there. That down. The Cancerians now. Okay, so um, this is my other daughter. This is my Megan. Okay, so um, and any other Cancerians that are out there? All right. Let's have a little look. Okay, at Cancerians. So just to recap, this is for the 27th. Of December, December the 27th, 2021, um, up until the 3rd of January 2022. Okay. Sorry about me rocking. The pain is quite high today. Okay. So the beginning of the week starts off with your sense of humour, how you're getting through things, how much you're, you're laughing, how much you're kind of like saying, I'm not going to take that seriously. Um, I can't believe this. You know, it's all about dealing with things head on. It's about kind of being, you know, I'm seeing the book. Okay. So that's to me research. It's to do with looking into things. This is my Aquarian card. Okay. So, um, but you know, it's saying that that's how you're going to be reacting. Does that make sense? You're going to be kind of, your mindset is going to be like an aquarium, which is they like to know the details. They like to find out what really is happening. They're not happy just to kind of think inside the box. They want to think outside the box, they do. Okay, so this is about kind of breaking free, okay, from um, any restrictions that you have been feeling, okay? We've got the ju uh, judgment card. You can see the shackles, the chains breaking as they break free from feeling suppressed, feeling as if they have got no control, feeling powerless. Okay, this is the opposite. This is like saying, I no longer feel powerless. 
I want to get on with things because we've got the deal with it card, the sarcasm, okay? Sarcastically saying, I deal with it. I am dealing with what I need to deal with, okay? And I'm doing it in a fun way. I'm not, I'm not doing it in a, in a way that I'm being suppressed, okay? So, yeah. So this is the middle of the week. So by the middle of the week, um, you are realizing that you have to look after yourself, that you have to make sure that you're okay. Okay, so you're doing a little double check on yourself, um, looking at kind of the possibilities of, you know, what happens if, am I okay with this? Um, what can I do? Okay, so you just double check in everything. Um, now, there is a little bit of rejection. So somebody around you is feeling a little bit out of um, sorts. They're not feeling as connected to maybe the family or connected to people around them that they normally would be. Okay, they're feeling a little bit kind of out of, out of sorts. And this person may come across as sulking. They may come across as, you know, going quiet or, you know, pulling away, you know, not really getting too um, close to you, keeping your arms length. Now, all of that is to do with their safety mechanism. It's to do with, uh, it could be how you're feeling at the time, you know, um, in order to keep safe, in order to make sure that um, no one's going to hurt me any more than I'm already feeling hurt, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to either reject or pull away. Okay, so it's kind of like you're just being cautious, okay, um, or there's someone close to you who is doing the same. Now, in the meantime, other people around they may not understand what's going on. They may, they may feel to themselves, well, what's that about? You know, why, why is that happening? Okay, um, so that, that may be um, a little bit, um, yeah, lack of communication and maybe a need to get to the bottom of what is, what is the real case, what is going on. And the end of the week, end of the week, I'm seeing some plans. I'm seeing you putting your name down for something. It's like I'm in a financial pickle, so I need to change um, gears. I need to do something different. I need to go about my financial situation in a head-on way. I'm focused. I'm going to do it. Okay. So it's like looking into ways of getting out of your situation, of expanding your life on a financial level and saying, okay, that's the direction that I feel is best for me. That fits in with my life. And that will hopefully um, sort out my money crisis. Okay. Um, so I do feel as if there's some, some um, situations to do with the home um, or close to home in your personal life that is needing this planning as well. Um, so it's like, right, OK, um, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be holding back. I'm not going to be doing what I was doing. OK, I'm not going to do it that way or maybe I'm going to do it less that way and I'm going to do it more this way. So that can be about changing jobs. It can be about a hobby that you're thinking, I could make money out of this if I wanted to. Maybe starting a YouTube video, maybe, maybe doing something that is going to get you interest, okay, on a wider scale, okay, but sometimes we have to think differently about it. Okay, so there you go. That is what's going on with Cancerians, okay, and that is the water signs. Okay. So we're now going to finish off with the earth signs, okay? All right, so we've got Taurus, starting off with Taurus. There we go. So let's see what's going on with Taurus. Okay, let me tune in to you guys. So I have to just keep saying the dates and things because it helps me tune in with my guides. My guides know what we're doing. So periodically I'll do that. So it's the 27th of December, 2021 through to the 3rd of January, 2022. Okay. Let me just turn that on silent. Otherwise it's going to be pinging. Okay, so Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay. 
Okay, so there is a self-employment energy around. It could be it could be linked with a person who is self-employed. It could be that you are becoming more in control of your workplace, of your work situations, that you're able to maybe um, work independently. Maybe that's how you're feeling, or maybe it's time to work independently. Maybe there's um, an extra business that is, is coming on board. Okay, now you'll find that a lot of people are thinking like this. A lot of people are saying, I've got more talents than I realize, and I've not done a thing about it. So why haven't I, you know? So it's really about tapping into their own potential. And I feel this is all to do with, you know, as we progress um, as human beings and we become more conscious minded, more, um, more conscious about our psychic and our, our powers, OK, so this is what I'm seeing um, is now coming about. OK, and that's why people are thinking on a wider scale instead of just in the 3D world. They're thinking the possibilities of change. OK. Now, there is a mischievous energy around, so it could be that, yes, you want to do more, but there's a problem. OK, um, now, sometimes those problems that we see are fear. OK, it's just that fear of taking that leap of faith, okay? So it might not actually be a problem, but it might just feel like a problem, in which case you then make it, uh, make it either, some people say an excuse, or some people say that, you know, they make it become a reality um, because of the things you're saying. Remember the things that you believe and the things that you feel actually then become the problem, okay? You create, the, the energy, even though it might start off as a small issue, you've concentrated on it that much that it's grown and grown and grown into a big issue, okay? Um, and then, you know, that's your reality. And then it's harder to get out and to break free from that kind of issue that you've blown out of proportion. Now, remember, you can do this in any area of your life, and that includes health, okay? That includes, so whatever you concentrate on will become bigger, more of a problem. Okay, I should know. <laughs> because nobody is perfect. Um, and I, I suffer with pain every day. And now me stating that means that's what I've become. Okay, so um, if you if you think about it, it's difficult to word things. Um, I remember I had, um, if you see, I've got a scar here. I had um, thyroid cancer. I um, can't remember how long, about 10 years ago, um, I, uh, had, I had thyroid cancer and I had a little shop um, in the mall in Herne Bay. It was um, only 10 by 10, I think. It was a very tiny shop, but I loved it. I loved it. And the rent was really, really cheap. It was like one reading and then I'd pay for the rent for the week. And um, I was safe and secure there. And then the front shop came up, which hardly ever came up. Okay, the front shop on the high street, but it was double plus some, okay, to rent that. In fact, three times. It, and, and I thought, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, I'm going to go for it. So I said to my landlord at the time in this, in the mall, yes, I'd like to take that. All the process was going on. Everything was there. Hadn't quite moved in, but it was all kind of going through. And then I found out I'd got this thyroid cancer and I was in this dilemma and I went, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You know, I've got cancer. And then basically I said, no, it's not going to make me ill. I'm going to be fine. Yep. No problem. I'm going to carry on and um, I'm just going to get through. I haven't got time to be ill. And that was my mentality. I haven't got time to be ill. And I literally worked and continued and started the shop up. Um, even with that diagnosis, I, I carried on. I'm not saying I'm Wonder Woman, I'm just saying that the law of attraction of what you believe in becomes reality, and it really honestly does. So, you know, the power of the mind, the power of your intention is all in your hands, Torian, and you can do whatever you need to do in order um, to get the job done, okay? You just need to believe in yourself, okay? So, so there is a little bit of mischievous energy going on to do with kind of doubt, um, but they're saying, you can do it, okay? You can do it. Okay, so as we go on to the middle, 
of the week. Okay, so there is somebody around you. I'm seeing this quirky sense of humor, um, very sarcastic and funny. I feel that this person is gonna be a really good friend to you or a good confidant. And um, this person is going to be guiding you through breaking free from all the restrictions that you have felt in. So once again, we have the judgment card, okay? So you've got the, the chains and the shackles and we're, we're breaking free of those shackles. You've also got the deal with it card, which says, I'm doing it, okay? I'm going to the heart of the issue, going to the heart of the problem, and I'm dealing with it. It's the most sarcastic card. It's saying, it's basically saying, stop talking about doing it and do it, okay? Um, and then we've got my funny card, my person who's got funny sense of humor, a bit quirky, okay? So it could be that person's, um, the quirky energy is rubbing off on you. You're becoming a little bit more, less serious. You see what I mean? And less kind of, worried about whether or not you're going to make a mistake or do this or do that and this is like i'm doing it i'm doing it okay so um the end of the week end of the week there seems to be a little bit of drama going on in a love life situation this is either your love life or somebody close to you and there's a need for um something to do with secrecy secrets whispers um finding out things that you kind of it's like do i want to know do i not want to know i don't know you know, so it's kind of like trying to find out what the situation is, okay, regarding, you know, other people, um, or if it's in your situation, maybe you're hiding um, your doubts, maybe you're hiding, you know, your, um, your sadness, maybe you're hiding your worry about finances, and you don't want your partner to know. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, these, always we, we think about secrets, and we think, you know, it's about affairs and things like that. That's not the case. Sometimes it can be, sometimes it is, but sometimes it can be just the normal stuff in life, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit, I've gotta to go to the, go to this point if you have gotta to get to grips with it, find out what's going on, and then center myself and look forward. Okay, so there you go. That's what I see for Taurines. Okay. So we're gonna do Virgos now. So Virgos, Virgos. Push that down <laughs> so you can see. There. Okay, so let's look at Virgos now. Okay. In my head, 27th into 3rd of January. Right, so preparation and planning, okay, is going on here. So this is all about kind of what are you going to do when um, if this happens, then you have another plan. Um, you know, thinking further ahead, like a three-year plan, one-year plan, okay, ahead. Okay, what is going to be best for me? What is going to be best for my loved ones? Okay, there's a lot of hard work around you. So it could be this plan. It's maybe a long-term basis. Um, it could be that you're making some decisions now that are then going to affect the future. They're then going to push you further on into kind of you know the next pathway it's like well you sometimes it's like a big goal you set yourself little stepping stones and instead of kind of thinking I'm never ever going to reach that big goal it's like but ah, stepping stones sometimes those stepping stones if you're feeling overwhelmed make them smaller like today I'm going to make sure I make that phone call the next day I'm going to make sure that I fill out that application form the next day you're thinking so it's like those little stepping stones does that make sense that that make up a big plan okay so I feel as if that's what is going on um there may be some sort of training linked with your job your work okay because I've got my two of pentacles you can see he's kind of stepping ahead he's a little bit nervous about it he doesn't look so kind of like confident you know he doesn't want there to be any bad vibes from anybody else 
okay, he's kind of safe in his own stepping, um, okay, but he's kind of just looking into um, the future, okay, with that nerves, but it's also this person, you, you know you're a hard worker, you know that what you are capable of, you can actually implement and put into place, okay, you've done it before, and you can do it again, and that's what I'm seeing, okay, so, um, <clears throat> as we move forward it could be that you keep your planning to yourself that you don't really tell other people about it you don't want any rejections you don't want um you to put your yourself out there and then you have to say actually i've been rejected um i didn't get through or you know um maybe next time or you know you 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 don't want to have to feel as if you know you feel silly does that make sense? So I feel that, that that's the reason why you may be a little bit more secretive than normal, okay, around this. Um, to do with your home life, there's a little bit of isolation going on around the middle of the week. This is either yourself or you're, you're worried about someone else isolating themselves um, and you're trying to get this um, issue sorted. You're trying to say, you know, I realize that I'm isolating myself. There may be a very good reason. I remember when I had the shop before and I was always on call for everybody. Everybody kind of came in for a cup of tea um, and a chat and I was happy-go-lucky and, and bubbly alley and, you know, want a cup of tea, come on, sit down, you know, give you a hug, you know. And these were sometimes strangers. We used to put a note on the shop um, window saying, free hugs, please come in for yours. And that's what we used to do. And... Um, you know, God forbid now, God, I would still do it though. Anyway, um, but yeah, free hugs, okay? We used to do that. And this is because we wanted to be approachable for everybody. They didn't have to come in for a reading. It was a shop, but they, there was still coffee and tea facilities. They could have a nice cup of tea and, you know, and sit down and, and tell us and talk to us. Okay, it costs nothing to listen. And that's what we used to do. And I do miss that about not being able to do that. But um, sometimes there is a need for you to be the listener. Sometimes there's a need for you to be listened to. And sometimes it's like, I don't want to say anything because I don't know how other people are going to react. OK, so there's a little bit of kind of that, um, that wariness. OK, um, and, um, and when you get home kind of from you know, if you've got a busy job or if you're kind of out there in the public and you've got to be a certain personality all the time. And then when you get home, it's like you go into that hermit mode. You don't want people to just pop round. You need to kind of have that stay at home kind of, um, you know, and it's not depression as I thought it was at one point. It isn't. It's more to do with kind of recharging your batteries. And it could be that after Christmas, this is how things have been for a lot of people. And a lot of people are saying, I'm going to recharge my batteries now. I just need to slow the pace down, need to be on my own, and I need to kind of recharge. So um, don't be surprised if you're feeling like that, okay, around the middle of next week. Now, as we move into the end of the week, things are becoming very real, okay? So there could be some conversations about keys to a property, okay? So an opportunity to move. It could be that there's someone close to you who is doing that. But I am seeing um, this is around a love life situation, um, a plan maybe to move with a, in with a person. It could be that you are kind of thinking of, you know, um, sorting out a relationship that has been in complicated um, circumstances. It could be that, you know, this would solve our problems. Um, maybe this would actually make things better enough so that we could repair them, maybe from a bit of a distance. Um, maybe I've got to juggle about the pros and the cons to see whether or not this is the best idea or not. OK, so um, so, yeah, so there's a lot of decisions about that. OK, going on at um, the end. I mean, for people who are single, this could mean um, to do with whether or not to to move from where you are or whether or not this is a time for you to have somebody live with you, you know? So yeah, there's a lot going on to do with the home, okay, at the end 
of the next week. All right, so that is Virgos. We then have Capricorns. Ooh, I'm having trouble with my, my stand here. Yeah. Okay, so Capricorns. Okay, so this is the last of my, <clears throat> the last of the astrology for this week. Okay, so this is about Capricorns. Have a look. Beginning of the week starts off with maybe an appointment and a meeting and um, something that you um, need to attend. Um, for some of you, it will be to do with health matters. It doesn't have to be serious health. I don't really deal with um, serious health predictions and things like that. Um, it's not my place. I'm not a doctor. OK, so I tend to kind of skirt around health matters, I'm afraid. Um, you know, it's, if, a, if a reader says you're fine, you might take that as you're not going to go to the doctors when you should, you know, or, you know, it, it's very fine line. Does that make sense? When psychics get involved with health. OK, so that's why I don't tend to do that. But if I'm seeing an appointment come up or something, um, then I'll give that out. OK, so I'm seeing an appointment um, it is to do with well-being. Definitely. It's to do with wrapping yourself up in cotton wool and maybe taking more care of yourself. It could be that this appointment is, you know, maybe with um, an alternative therapist. Maybe it's to do with healing. Maybe it's to do with kind of um, counselling or, you know, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be a physical thing. OK, there's someone around you who is sulking because they're not getting what they need. They're not getting what they want. And they are feeling a little bit left out. They're feeling as though life is against them. Now, it could be that they are genuinely feeling that. It could be that they're just sulking because you're not paying them as much attention as you would normally give them, okay? Um, so it could be a young person. It could be a young energy person, like a naive person, somebody who's immature, okay? Um, it could be that we all feel immature sometimes when, you know, we're not feeling um, on the top of somebody's list you know, of priorities, and that doesn't make us feel good. Okay, so it's going to be a good idea coming the middle of the week um, that is going to mean that you're going to do things. Um, it's like instantly, quickly, taking that leap of faith. It is linked with money, opportunity, hobbies. It's linked with business ideas, self-employment. There's lots of different kind of energies that this could mean, okay? But all it is, is an improvement to your already um, good income. Does that make sense? It's, it's, or it could be that I need more money in order to survive. So I've got to do this differently. I've got to do that. So it's all to do with kind of getting to grips with, um, with maybe new opportunities, okay? Or having a really good idea because you've got the ace of swords. That's about ping moment. Um, the idea of I'm going to do this. OK, but it is linked with a large amount of money, an opportunity. It could also mean that you're entitled to money, OK, that you're entitled to something. And all of a sudden, something's going to happen regarding that regard. We've got the full card or it could be that you're going to do something um, and take that leap of faith towards it. OK. So the end of the week, end of the week, I've got new money, OK, around you, new money new opportunity i've got the celebration card my six of wands it's like i've done it you know public acclaim triumph brilliant news okay along with the ace of pentacles i've achieved it um and this card just says to me that spirit has had a hand in that that they've given you the tools and the opportunities um to get what it is that you want to do what you've always wanted to do okay so this uh, opportunity Ace, the ace is always the beginning of, beginning of money being pentacles, okay, the six of wands being achievement, and you can see he's very proud and he's 
kind of worked hard to get where he is, he or she. Um, and then, then you've got the spirit, got the spirit energy around as well. And I feel that there may be some contracts and signatures around as well. Okay, things to sign, um, put, making something official, doing what's needed to be official. Okay, um, we've also got a little bit of a block going on. Okay, as well to do with your your. It's like I feel as if that side of things is blocked, or you know I'm frustrated with that, or this has made me cross, made me angry, um, but. You know, on the other hand, I've got something to celebrate too. So it's like you're in the middle of, you know, the pros and the cons. Does that make sense to do with this situation? Okay, there is a celebration of love though. We've got the three of cups, celebration of love, maybe lust, um, maybe an, a, a relationship that is going through um, a boost. Okay, it could be somebody, it could be that you're meeting somebody new. It could be that the existing relationship is boosted. So. Yeah, but it is to do with love. Sometimes this card can sometimes mean family. Does that make sense? Being um, connected and feeling that love energy to do with family life and that, you know, you're getting on much better or you're getting on really well. Okay, so there you go. There's the astrology for this week. Like I said um, earlier, I'm going to be doing this 10-week course. I'm going to put details about it, okay? Um, in there that is what I'm doing okay so um, Saturday sorry Monday the 3rd of January um, it's a 10-week psychic development course okay and it's five pounds a class which works out at seven dollars okay and I went through all of um, what I'm going to be doing with that course um, at the beginning of this video and how you can join in okay you can go to um, if you want a reading with me, um, you can go to psychicalley.net. Okay, that's the website. Um, if you wanted to communicate or talk to me, you can comment on here um, or you can contact me on um, psychicalley121 um, at gmail.com. Okay, so you can do that. Okay, um, yeah, Patreon. Um, um, for my Patreon family people, um, th this is. Um, an opportunity for me to say thank you for hanging with me. It has been an awful time in my life. Um, my um, husband um, had open heart surgery. Before that, I was very ill. Um, it, and then we had Christmas. So everything has been all up in the air. But my Patreon family, you've supported me. You've been there for me. And I so appreciate it. And I, I really am going to make it up to you guys. Okay, so, um, so yeah, so there's going to be more coming about that all right um so with patreon if you're wondering what patreon is some people don't know um patreon is like a membership that you can join and you get different things for different tiers so there's four tiers the first tier is a monthly chat okay so this is where we get together and we pull cards for each other okay and um that works out at 82 pence okay um for the uk if you're in America, it's $1.11, okay? Um, the next tier up is tier two, and that is $11, $11 which works out at £8.26, okay? And that is for monthly chats. Plus, um, you can have a look and be a fly on the wall for um, classes and videos that I've done, workshops and things. So it's like you're not attending, but you can watch what happened within that workshop, and there's lots on there and I use that as a Facebook page okay so it's a Facebook page and you can see all of that on there okay it's a Patreon page um, and um, and then the next one up the third one is $22.22 and it it works out as £16.53 I don't know what the exchange is but it's about that okay and so you get the monthly chat you get the watching the videos and the um we are watching the videos and the classes um, and then you get a gift sent to you. OK, so it's a monthly gift. Um, and then you've got the next one, the final one, which is thirty three, thirty three dollars or twenty four pounds eighty. And with that one, you get um, all of the above, which is the monthly videos. Monthly video, you get the, the chat and the workshops, being able to watch those. Uh, you get the monthly gift. 
plus you get a 20 minute reading, 20 ish minute reading uh, once a month, looking at the month ahead. OK, so that is um, Patreon. So if you wanted to join Patreon um, and it's supporting me, so I'm so grateful. Um, that is um, patreon.com forward slash um, psychic alley. OK, um, Greg also has a Patreon page. If you wanted to support um, Greg Prescott and um, in 5D, it is patreon.com forward slash in 5D. OK, so I'll leave it there and um, have a lovely week and take care. OK, bye for now.